Hello, this is Al Lorona of Keysight Technologies. You've been using Excel for a long time for system calculations, but now you're ready to try a more capable tool. But nobody wants to recreate their lineup. How do you import your existing spreadsheet into the RF system simulator in Genesis or System View for analysis? You use the import utility shipped with these products. This video will show you how to import a spreadsheet lineup directly into a schematic so you can run RF system on it. Here's the Excel spreadsheet. There are seven stages in the lineup from lines 9 through 15 with gain in column B, noise figure in column C, and P1DB in column D, and so forth. Now we start the utility, which is found at this path. Fill in the fields according to the spreadsheet. When you're ready, click on the button Read Excel Data and choose the spreadsheet to import. The messages say that the data were read successfully. If anything goes wrong, it will be reported to you at this point and you can correct any mistakes. Now click on Select and Run Workspace. After several seconds, you can select the template into which you will import. And a workspace will be opened and populated with the seven stages in the lineup. Let's look more closely at what it did. Since a spreadsheet can only represent gain or loss, each stage comes into the schematic as either an amplifier or an attenuator. From RF Systems' point of view, it has been dumbed down to match the spreadsheet. However, now you can place mixers, local oscillators, filters, and any other parts from the RF library. The simulation is all ready to run, so we just need to press the play button and observe the results. Expect the results to be different than the answers you got in Excel because RF system simulates mismatch, gain compression, multiple paths, and so on. If at any time you need to dumb down RF system to compare its results with the spreadsheets, there are a number of measurements, beginning with an E, that you can look at. These are equivalent to the spreadsheets calculations. That's it. Save your workspace and continue to improve it, adding models, measure data, and whatever else you want to do now that you're in a far superior environment for RF system modeling.